so welcome back so you all know I have a Texo 2750 cylinder arm sewing machine and it comes with a table to make it a flatbed sewing machine I never use it I actually do all my sewing my wallets my bags stuff like that with the sewing arm and I figured you know what what the heck let's install the uh, the flatbed and I'll try that for a little while I don't plan on making any bags um, anytime soon so let's try to uh, get this on here it's gonna be a little bit challenging because I'm I think I've done it once or twice maybe and it's a pain it's the only downfall of this machine is converting it to a flatbed is a pain so the first thing is these bolts are these I don't know threaded rod whatever you want to call it there's a bolt on the bottom and there's a bolt on top so you got to get these in there and there's one over here too three three points of contact <laughs> where where this thing gets mounted here's the third one and that third one goes right here where this is you would think that you would mount all these these threaded rods or whatever you want to call them onto the table mount first and then kind of slide it in place and drop it into the holes uh, no I can't do it that way for some reason it don't it don't work So what I'm doing is in this table, like I said, there was three mounting posts or whatever, those threaded rods. There's underneath this table, there's uh, holes that have threads that you thread those things in. So I got to get those things lined up, get them lined up so I can thread them into the bottom of the, the flatbed here. Okay, I got that one tightened up. <laughs> so I think I got them all three of those are tightened up inside the sockets on the flatbed so now it's just getting it to get all level um, 
you know, to make everything all flat level with each other. So underneath each one of these is another bolt and washer that you have to undo and then raise the threaded part up. I'm gonna I'm gonna level it right even with the top of the uh, where the feed dog goes. So what I was doing there was another nut and washer on the top part that you lower down and then those two nut and washers sandwich each other into this bottom table. If that makes any sense. So you can see, you constantly got to make an adjustment to get it, to get it, uh, to get it level. <laughs> can you see me? So this back side of this table, I'm trying to make it level with this little little edge built right onto the sewing machine. I'm not sure if that's even where it's supposed to go, but it sure seems like it. So I'm thinking that's where it needs to go. So what I'm doing to adjust it is just backing these screws off and you can actually see the table starting to, to lower and you have to go around and do all three of them keep on going back and because as you lower one the other one's off and you got to keep on lowering that one so so I take that straight edge to kind of get everything level so I think we're pretty much there so then I take a wrench and I just go around and kind of snug up the uh, the nuts so now it's a flatbed that's putting the flatbed on the uh, on the 20 uh, Texo 2750 uh, it takes about a 15 minutes <laughs> uh, well it takes me about 15 minutes it's a kind of a pain if you're jumping from a, a bag to a wallet it almost seems like it's not worth spending the 15 minutes doing that I just use it the cylinder arm with the while I'm doing a wallet without putting the flatbed on because it takes too much time it's gonna be interesting because I have never I don't recall sewing anything on here with this flatbed attachment. So the other thing that I'm going to be doing today is I got six I got six new bobbins that I ordered um, seven dollars for six of them so a little under well, not seven dollars a little over a buck a piece but cheap enough I already have six there's one in the machine I like to have two bobbins of each color um, so I'm always when I run out of my bobbin I can switch it out and then the empty bobbin that I just just, just switched out I can put into the uh, the bobbin threader here and thread that while I'm using up the other color so it should start you know helping me out with the process because uh, I only have one bobbin for one color <laughs> so when I run out I gotta stop sit over here and fill it and things go back to work again 
So I think having uh, the extra bobbins, and I'm going to fill those up today with the different colors that I have. And I also learned <laughs> the hard way <laughs> that if you're just going to use the machine just to fill a bobbin, is to make sure you take your thread out of your needle. That's not good <laughs> to leave that in there while you use your your uh, your bobbin threader or whatever you have call it bobbin filling thing or whatever <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about so you gotta make sure you take your thread out if you're just gonna do that if you're sewing while the bobbin's going no problem but if you're just gonna fill a bobbin make sure you take the uh, your thread out of your needle let's uh let's load up a red one so that's pretty much how you thread up your bobbin that's what i'm doing today that's all i got for you guys today thanks for watching and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.